fine. I, I thought we just kept doing a good job, taking the puck to the net, and finally paid off. Paid off. Nick, I don't want to get all analytical on you here, but can you talk about picking and choosing when to hit and when not to? And it seems that this whole series thus far turned on that hit that you had against Ryan Clown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, you got to be smart when, when you step up on when you want to. Uh, I can be in my early days here uh, in my career. I think I was a little bit too, uh, too jumpy sometimes, stepped up in the wrong areas. And, uh, I think I learned over the years to, to choose a little bit better when to step up. Can you talk about this team? I mean, you know, obviously you won three in a row. We all know that. But, you know, there's still one more to go. Yeah, we haven't accomplished anything. Uh, sure, we put ourselves in a, in a better spot than when we were down 3 nothing. but at the same time, we haven't accomplished anything. Uh, we've been playing like it is a game seven here for the last three games, and we're going to play another one here on uh, Thursday. You know, they get that goal. Can you talk about the mood on the bench? Is this where the experience of the Red Wings pays off? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. We've got better leadership in here. There was no panic at any moment. We just said to each other, stick with it. And, and Nick and these guys, you know, settle down. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, we stuck to it and paid off tonight. Did you see any, at the end, you know you know it's hockey, you know that stuff's going to happen, but do you think the Sharks are trying to send a message, or is it frustration? I'm sure it's a little bit of both, maybe, but you know, that's just the way the game is played. Uh, at the end of games, uh, when things haven't gone your way, I think it's just natural that things like that happen. Nick, yeah. Pavel said it's just as simple as you guys believe. Is it really that simple? Talk about his, his attitude. Yeah, I think he's definitely right. Uh, if you don't believe, you're not going anywhere. Uh, we would have been down a long time ago if we didn't believe in what we do. Uh, so we, we've been sticking to the game plan. And, uh, game five, we haven't we didn't play our, our best for three periods. I thought tonight we did a better job of uh, taking the puck to the net and, and creating some second chances that we have had some, some trouble doing in the past, the past few games. So, uh, you know, we believe in what we have in here, and nothing is over yet. And talk about the play that you've gotten out of Pavel in this series. Well, anytime you, someone rings his name up, it, it's you know you just want to smile because the things that he can do on the ice. Uh, a lot of times you just sit on the bench and shake your head because no one else can do it. it. It really is remarkable every time. Do you give your chance at all right now to think about the magnitude of this and how few times it's happened? No, we we don't want to think too much about that. Right now, for us, uh, you know, we've been playing like it is a game seven for the last three games, and now we're on Thursday in two days. Uh, we'll play another one, so we just have to stick to the game plan and believe in what we do, and hopefully, we can grind it out. Last question, Jimmy. Talk about what you. Jimmy Howard has been huge for us. There's no doubt about that. Uh, even in the first three games, I thought he was played really well for us. Uh, he kept us in the games and still gave us a chance to win, even though maybe they played a better hockey game than we did. So he's been huge for us here. And every time we need him to, he steps up and makes that big save. Thanks, man.